everyone and welcome to the fiber friends tag and i have my husband here with me hi <laughs> his name is nick um so this was a tag put out by chevy Rell, and we are going to do it and we're outside kind of freezing our butts off right now so you ready okay what's your favorite thing i have crocheted for you well, considering I haven't worn anything that you've crocheted for me, nothing yet. That's because you don't want me to make you anything, except gloves. Well, maybe if you made me a sweater, I would do it. I don't know. I've asked you if you wanted a sweater. I don't know. Okay, do you have a favorite thing I have crocheted in general? What have you crocheted? The blankets, the anything, hats, anything. Well, considering she hasn't started my blanket. You told me not to. Yes, you did. Okay, so then nothing? I don't know. I'll have to see how my little pony thing's going to work out. Okay. Does it annoy you if I crochet in public? No. Uh, what's your favorite... Fiber, well, we've never gone to a fiber festival, so we'll scratch that question. Does it bother you when I drag you to a yarn store? Yes. You have to speak up a little bit because they might not hear you. It annoys me a lot. <laughs> what is the coolest thing you have learned from my addiction? What's the coolest thing the that you have learned from my addiction? Like, have you learned anything? Like, the different types of things I can make, or? Yeah, you can make all types of things. So that's the coolest thing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> have you ever wanted to crochet yourself? No. <laughs> Does it bother you when I buy yarn? Yes. <laughs> she has so much yarn. <laughs> but yet she wants to buy more yarn. <laughs> what do you think about me podcasting? Makes you happy? Do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, do you know the difference in the weights of yarn? Don't know. Don't care. Uh, do you have a favorite yarn dyer? No. <laughs> do you know an average, the average cost for a skein of yarn? A cent. No. Okay, so we'll do commercial yarn. Like, so if I go to Joanne's, how much do you think on average? A dollar. If it was a dollar, I'd have a lot more yarn. Okay, how much is an average skein of indie dyed yarn? I don't know. I don't research this stuff. <laughs> but I talk to you about it all the time. Okay, um, do you know how... Oh, I already said that. If you were to ask me to buy... Hold on. If I were to ask you to buy me yarn, what would you do? If I were to ask you to buy me yarn, what would you do? Yeah. So if I said, I want you to go buy me some yarn, what would you do? What kind of yarn do you want? That's, that's not the question. Just, I told you to do that. What do you do? That's what I would ask. What kind of yarn do you want? Okay, any yarn. We're like, okay. <laughs> but probably no, because I have so much yarn anyways. Um, how many balls of yarn do you think I smuggle into the house in a month? I'd say six. Six? Yeah. Uh, okay, we'll go with that. Uh, <laughs> can I yarn bomb the house? Yarn bomb. Yarn bombing is when you basically just put yarn on everything. Like yarn everywhere. Mom Crochet else? everything. Yeah. No. <laughs> Why not? Just no. <laughs> just no. <laughs> Would you say I'm obsessed, interested, or dabbling? In fiber? In yeah, in fiber. Well, like yarn, crocheting, knitting. Obsessed. Obsessed. <laughs> 
What is really going through your mind when you go to a yarn store, festival, or I get mail? This is an interesting one for me. What is really going through your mind when you go to a yarn store? A yarn festival or what if I get yarn mind? in the mail. Yeah, what goes through your mind? Why am I here at the store looking at yarn? Well, I can be in the car. <laughs> or uh, if I get mail. We haven't gone to a festival yet. So if I get mail, what goes through your mind? Like yarn in the mail. Why would you get more yarn? Why? <laughs> Why? Um, where was I at? Okay. If you could have me make you anything, what would it be? A Doctor Who blanket. <laughs> I told you I just have to buy the yarn. I can start on the pattern. Mm. The patterns are already partially done. I just need the yarn to do it. So maybe when we get tax returns? Maybe. Okay. Um... <laughs> If I've already made you something, do you wear it? I've made you a beanie and you never wear it. Because he's a butt. It actually looks just like this one, but it's in black and blue. Um, another use for knitting needles or crochet hooks would be... Stabbing people. <laughs> Stabbing people? Best thing I've made in your opinion... I don't know. I'm kind of interested to see how the My Little Pony thing is going to come out. Me too. Because it could be a total bust. <laughs> I mean, the legs are coming out decent so far. Uh, what is my stash really like? Do you think I could do with more or less? And less. Why? Too much yarn. <laughs> same blues, like five, but the same blues. That's because... Okay. Six of the same reds. Seven of the same oranges. I don't actually have a lot of orange. If you do your inventory, you'd see orange. But you, you can't see past the, the excess amount you have of yarn. <laughs> but what is my stash really like? Like, how much would you say I have? What do you mean? It says, what is my stash really like? So, like... I don't... I don't I mean... You don't pay attention to it? No. Okay. Um... How do fiber crafts help me? Right here. How do fiber crafts help me? I guess it helps your mind drift away into crochet land. So, like, keeps me sane? Yeah. How much money do you think I spend on yarn? Monthly? Uh, sure, we'll go monthly. Wonder that one day you spent thirty dollars on one roll of yarn, so I, I can't even tell you that. Okay, that was an extenuating circumstance because that was my first indie dyed yarn. So on average, I go to Joanne's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, whatever, in a month. I'd Come say fifty dollars. Fifty, sixty, about right. Uh, can you explain the difference between knitting, crocheting, and spinning? Can you explain the difference between knitting, crocheting, and spinning? Yeah. No. <laughs> Do you use different tools or the same tools? Different tools. <laughs> um, how do you explain me being a crocheter to others? Or do you even explain that? How do you explain me being a crochet to others? She's the shit. So, like, say you're at work and someone says, "What does your wife do?" Well, how would you explain that? She sits in a chair and does old lady things. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um, what is one thing you wish I liked to do as much as fiber stuff? So if there is one thing that you would want me to like just as much as doing crocheting and knitting, what would it be? That was a really messed up question. I can't answer that one. 
You can't? No. So there isn't anything else you'd rather have me doing? No. Okay. Um, if I were to die tomorrow, what would you do with all my fiber stuff? Sell it. <laughs> Why is that every man's answer? Sell it. Like, cheap sell it? Well, a lot of this stuff is... Give it back to the crochet stores where it belongs. <laughs> so donate it? Okay. Um, or I might keep it. I don't know. You might keep it. That's how sad I feel. <laughs> um, okay. Does it embarrass you when I crochet in public? That's kind of like annoy, but I guess embarrass is different. No. Does it embarrass you when I crochet at family gatherings? No. Which I don't really do. Uh, what would you say I crochet? Oh, wait, no. What does your family say behind my back about me doing that? Nothing. Okay. What would you say I crochet the most of? Mm. I don't know, because you jump from one thing to another. Like, I don't know, like, it's hard to say. Well, if you could take a guess, what do you think I've crocheted the most of? Shawls. Not even close. I guessed. Hats, by far the most. Oh, yeah. I've made so many. Um, why do you think I crochet? You kind of answered that question already. Kind of, but it's, I guess, a little different. It's fun. It's fun. There we go. <laughs> How would you rate me on my crafting skill level? I need to scale. Like one to ten. Ten being best, one being worst. Eleven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what would you do... If with my stash, if I died, which that's already been asked, um, what do you think we do at knit night? Which I don't go to knit nights, so um, how many subscribers do you think I have on my podcast? 500. 500. That's it, just 500. Yeah. Okay, we'll check. I'm pulling up YouTube right now. Um, the answer is 551. Ah. Um, how many followers do you think I have on Instagram? I don't even know that. 27. 27? Jeez. Give me a little credit here. 127. I have 160. Okay. Um, have you ever watched my podcast? Yes. Yes. Mm, what is your favorite podcast, Fiber or not? I haven't watched. Uh, you don't really watch podcasts, do you? What's your favorite episode so far? Don't have one. You do have a giant stick. You don't have a favorite episode of mine. Um, if I knit you a sweater, or if I crocheted you a sweater, would you wear it, even if it was hideous? Hideous, no. Good looking, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, if you could dictate a monthly allowance for yarn, how much would it be? <laughs> look up. Oh, thank you. You look like the Grim Reaper. Oh, thank you. I got flowers. They're pretty, Emma. I don't like. 40 to 50 bucks. So basically what I already spent. Yeah. So not crazy. Um, do I need to go on a fiber diet? Meaning like not buying yarn. For a yes. While. <laughs> uh, do you think, or how much do you think my stash is worth? Priceless. Priceless. Yep. It is priceless to me, but really like, what do you think a number amount would be? 1500 not quite that much, but I'd probably say eleven hundred dollars worth. Especially now that I've accrued some uh, nice fancy yarn, and that's it. That's that's the fiber friends tag, my friends. All right, we're gonna wrap this thing up. I'm gonna go play Fallout Four. You guys have a great dandy day, and we're out. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome week. See you later. Bye.